What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Guys, I, I really want to talk about this Jeff Bezos situation. Okay. And you know what? A, a lot of people hate the guy. And I can see why. Usually when people are very bright and good at what they do, you are hated. Okay? Now Jeff Bezos went to Princeton graduated with honors he then started Amazon the rest is history you guys know what happened he is the richest man in the world in fact a few days ago he made 13 billion dollars in 15 minutes and that's after getting divorced by his wife Mackenzie Bezos now going by Mackenzie Scott, who did nothing to get that money, but just sit there and have children. Although she's smart too, but she didn't do anything in Amazon. Okay. She didn't do nothing. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Now, Jeff Bezos doesn't owe anything to anyone. Okay. Anything to anyone. He doesn't owe you anything. The guy worked for what he has. He's very brilliant. He's smart. He made the right decisions. He doesn't need to donate any money to any organizations. If he gave a dollar, it'd be enough, in my opinion. He doesn't owe you nothing. But you know, Mackenzie, his ex-wife, who is now worth $64 billion. Remember, she didn't do anything. She's one of the richest people on planet Earth, not on her own accords, okay? She won $38 billion in a divorce settlement. Now she's worth like even 60 billion now. She didn't do anything. She gave away about $1.16 billion or $2 billion to charitable organizations, okay? 1.7 billion. And she said, Zany Music. Last year, I pledged to give the majority of my wealth back to the society that helped generate it stop the show you didn't do anything to generate nothing lady okay he made the money you didn't do nothing you didn't do squat your wealth comes from him not you you would have been sandaling it up daily music to do it thoughtfully to get started soon and to keep it until the safe is empty there's no question in my mind that anyone's personal wealth is the product of a collective effort and of social structures which present opportunities to some people and obstacles to countless others. You didn't do anything to get nothing. You were well taken care of, woman. You didn't do squat. All right? But now, here's the situation. They are trashing him because Jeff Bezos, who's worth $180 billion, he donated $125 million to help coronavirus. And then you have all of these ladies trashing him because he's not giving away enough money. You have this lady, Alicia, dating music. <laughs> Explaining to my mom this morning why men must eat the rich by calculating what percent of their wealth they've donated to society. For your information, in 2018, Jeff Bezos only dated, donated 0.007%. Then she has the middle finger up there. Okay. Another idiot says this. Dating music. Did y'all know how Jeff Bezos' wife donated almost two billion, and he donated only five hundred million? Laughable. And obviously, these these are ladies saying this. Okay. Let me say this. The reason why people can say this, because they don't know what it takes to make money. You're too busy at Starbucks, okay? 
drinking lattes, sandaling it up, being a loser while people are working for their actual money. You don't do anything, but you're, you're, you're a bum, right? Now, it's easy for Jeff uh, 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 McKenzie here, his ex-wife, to donate all that money. I'll tell you why. She didn't work for it. If you, like, for example, if I won the lottery, which is what she did. She married Jeff Bezos. That's one of the lottery. If I won the lottery and I got a billion dollars, sure, I might give away $10 million or $20 million of charity because I didn't do anything to win that money. And I'll be going around looking like the savior of the world because I didn't get it. Which is why a lot of people who win the lottery end up broke because they don't value the money that they get. But just Jeff Bezos is like, wait a minute, I worked hard for this money. I'm not giving you $125 billion or $5 billion. You didn't do anything to get it. You don't, I don't owe you squat. All right? So you don't get nothing. That's why she can give away money. She didn't do nothing to get it. She's been getting money all her life for free. And people always expect people that are rich to help you. No. No. You know what? It's the same thing here on the continent. I'm in Uganda. You guys know this. I'm making a video on my Kinganda channel, which you guys should check me out over there. Which is why you have to stop being charitable on the continent. Okay? Because if you really want to help people, if you really want to help people, you know what? If you want to help people, don't give them stuff for free. Okay? Because people didn't give Jeff Bezos anything for free. And it's just like that in Africa. All the time, people were hitting me up, talking about their problems. Oh, boss, boss, I'm having a problem. Ah, uh, can you help me? Ah, uh, can you help me? Ah. Uh? Because I don't work for my money. I used to give, I don't do it anymore. I work for my money. Because if I need money from you, you're not going to give me anything. I work for whatever I get. I work for my money. Every single day. And if I give my money to you, all of it, you won't have anything. That's what society wants. Society wants you to give all the money to them while they keep their money. No. Same thing happened in black America. We're always depending on our top people to give all their money. Well, you know, they music. Well, why, why don't the top people help us out in the black community? We need jobs. We need. In, in the second, and why are you doing that? The same person has iPhones. Uh, they're, they're over there buying sandals and weaves and Jordans. No. No. And the reason why she can donate money is because Jeff Bezos gave her that money. It is his donation. She didn't work for it. So any donation that he gi she gives, it should count from him. I'm so tired of talented people having to suffer because the world is, it, the world is full of lazy idiots. Because you don't want to work. So you're going to penalize the people that work. And I know that as a guy that works every single day till nine in the morning, every day. Not, not just some of the time. No, I work every day. Every day I got to get up. I got to work. I never get all my work done. I got to create all the content for all the editors. I have to get all the stuff lined up for the podcast. People hitting me up, want me to come on their channel. I got to turn it. Well, most of you got to turn you down. I got to do all that. I got to manage the Patreon. I, gotta do. I work every day. If you come ask me for something for free, no. No. Don't ask me. I work. You can do it. What's stopping you to do it? What Jeff Bezos is doing? Because you're lazy. You're lazy. And again, it's not all women. This is a few women saying this stuff. He doesn't owe you anything. You have equal rights. Pick your ass out there and you work. It's easy to give away some stuff that you didn't work for. Well, guys, yes, your boy. Oh, Shay Dude Jackson. Bad.
back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk subscribe hit the bell i really really thank all of you guys i appreciate you for what you do thank you so much make sure that you subscribe hit the bell and um check me out check me out uh on patreon check out the first comment pinned to the top about a black men or perfect t-shirts check all of my stuff out right we're really 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 doing a great thing here in the channel thank you so much as you know the buffoonery it always shall remain an all-time high appreciate it peace out